Hey everyone, big news here. I um, I've just been on my on my computer um, as usual, looking at the charts and things like that, and um, I've had yet more issues with my um, with my Windows virtualization. So basically, I have a Mac is the setup um, that I run here in the office. I run a Mac, but I run Parallels to run um, all of my charts and trading related programs and things like that. And as many of you know, over the past sort of what, six weeks maybe, two months since I upgraded to Windows 10 anyway, um, I can't get Parallels or VMware to work very well with Windows. Um, and it's been very choppy, it's been freezing here and there, and it's just, it's not really good enough. And it's something that's going to cost me money in 2016 if I don't get it sorted. So, the big news here is I've bitten the bullet and I've decided now today, this this very second one, within the last couple of minutes here, that actually um, I'm going to have to go and buy a Windows laptop. Um, the Mac's obviously going to stay, I love the Mac, that's not going anywhere. Um, but I certainly I'm going to be running all of my trading stuff from a Windows laptop from now on because running it with Mac, maybe things like Parallels and VMware will catch up um, and their their software will work with Windows a little bit better in a few months time, six months time, whenever that is. But to be honest with you, I don't really have the time to wait for that because that's good trading time in there, and particularly when you're doing things you know, like day trading and things as I do with the DAX. Um, it really isn't something that's going to work out. Obviously, if you do longer term trading, then it might be something that you can live with. Um, but for the day trading stuff that we do, it's um, I need to be I need it to be quick. Um, I can't have screens freezing or anything like that. So I'm going to go pop along to Curry's in just a few minutes um, and basically see what I can pick up in terms of a of a Windows PC that's hopefully got a similar sort of spec to my Mac. So when I bought the Mac, I basically bought everything um, that you could get with it. So it's got like as much RAM as you can imagine, as much memory, not that you necessarily need it all, um, but uh, I like to have everything that you can have there. So I don't really want to, um, I don't want to go and buy a laptop that's like a massive downgrade from this here, even though I'll continue using it, um, but I'll use it more for presentations and for some of the video editing and things like that. But all trading related stuff is going to, is going to migrate across um, to the new Windows laptop that I purchased. So just thought I'd update you guys on all of that because I know that every time somebody asks whether you can trade with a Mac, I say, yeah, absolutely, no problem. Um, it's absolutely fine, but um, it, it might be okay for you guys if you're going, if you've remained on Windows 8 or something like that. But for me, it just doesn't, it's not working at the moment. So um, I'm going to pop along and see if I can replace it with something else. So I will check back with you when um, when we get the new laptop. Okay. Okay. So I've just come out of PC One Curry's picked um, picked myself up a Toshiba satellite um, radius. So. It's got uh, a lot of power, a lot of memory, and it's exactly what we're looking for. So we'll get back to the house now, and then we'll unwrap it and see that um, basically it does what it should do, what it says on the tin. Okay, so I will catch you in a bit. Okay, so we're back now. I have the the purchase, the laptop here. As you can see, it's a Toshiba satellite. I um, went speaking to the, the guy in the shop. He uh, recommended that this is basically the best one. It's not too clunky because obviously I have to carry it around to and from the office and all of that kind of good stuff but also it's got enough power to be able to do what we want it to do so let's see what we've got here power cables always need that I usually actually in terms of power cables I usually get two so now that I've got this one I'll go and buy another one so that I can then have it plugged in at the office so I don't have to lug cables everywhere to pick up the laptop and kind of move with it. We've got the quick start guide, which I never, ever, ever, ever read. And then we've got here, let's get the box out of the way. And then we have the laptop itself. So nicely protected. The one thing I have to say though is that these boxes, they aren't anywhere near as pretty as the ones that the Macs come with. I mean, when you get a laptop from Apple, it's a much nicer experience. But, as I said earlier, what's important here is to make sure that ultimately I have a machine that isn't going to fail me. And at the moment, the problem with, not Apple itself, not the Mac itself, 
But the problem with some of the virtualization software, so Parallels and VMware, which are the ones that I use, is that Windows is so unstable, it's untrue. So, um, yeah. So you're not being replaced, baby. Don't worry, not being replaced. You just need something else to assist. So, yeah. Oh, wow. It looks like quite a big screen. How's that? No, it's about roughly the same size, but this is a 15 inch screen, as you can see here. Very pretty. Um, a little bit shallow like that, so I didn't want one of the big, massive, thick things like that. Wanted something a little bit more streamlined. And yeah, let's get this open. So a lot of people, um, as I was just saying before this, I do get asked the question in terms of, you know, what is the setup and how can you work from a laptop? Because obviously you guys have probably seen, um, or you've seen programs with traders with like 40 million different screens there. And to be honest, um, I've been through that. Um, so I have gone through the cycle. I've had loads and loads and loads of screens, but it can almost get distracting at times. And in terms of what, you know, I need to do for my trading anyway. Um, I don't need that many screens, you know. Yes, I obviously have the laptop, I have another screen, and then I have a little like a Surface Pro usually here. So I've got access to three screens and two separate computers. Um, but you don't need, you know, 40 million different screens. It's just, generally speaking, I could actually do without the, the Surface Pro almost and, um, and just have the laptop and the monitor in place because that's you know that's ultimately what you need you need one one screen for your trading software and then another one for the charts and i know the argument is obviously well you know what if you need to monitor multiple pairs you're looking at multiple different instruments this is true um one of the things that i do with ninja trader is that i've got a number of different workspaces and you can actually tap through workspaces pretty quickly so i have one workspace where I'm sort of monitoring everything um, so I can see if there's any you know particular move that's about to happen and then if I see a move that, that's taking place and I can tab over to the workspace that's specific um, to that particular instrument so I've got all of the various individual charts looking for the entries and things like that so um, back to this laptop here very very pretty it's got a little bit of a sticker thing there which I don't know what the hell that is but anyway that's not the end of the world. Now let's fire this little puppy up. Little power button on the side there. Very nice. Does the keyboard light up? A mm, little bit. Again, that my problem is going to be that I'm going to try and compare everything to the MacBook Pro. And the MacBook Pro is a beautiful machine. Um, it's probably one of the laptops I've had for the longest period of time. Usually I go through them very, very quickly. But this one here has lasted me pretty much two years and it will last me longer but just in terms of the trading obviously I've got to move uh, across to something else so starting up now obviously it'll take a little while to start up what I got with this was a um, solid state drive but a hybrid version of it um, so the solid state the the capacity wasn't enough um, for this particular machine but I do like how quick the, the machines are when they do have a solid state drive. So I've been assured that this hybrid version is almost as good as the real thing, but obviously then I get the capacity of a non-solid state drive as well. So we've got one terabyte um, of memory in here. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM, I want to say. And it's an, for you geeks there, it's an Intel Core i5 processor. So yeah. But anyway, so that's, um, that sort of wraps it up here. What I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go and have a play with this now. I know that you guys don't want to watch me set all of this up and um, get all of the software on it and all of that kind of good stuff. But once I've got it all loaded up, then we'll come back again and we will see what the trading setup looks like at the uh, at the end of the day. Okay, so I thank you for watching and I'll catch you in just a few ticks. So it's been longer than uh, just a few ticks, but um, I've had a few days now to play around with the laptop to install everything onto it that um, that I want and need. And I have to say to you that on the whole, I'm actually really, really pleased. I did. I had a few reservations because obviously the Apple products are made really, really well. And my experience of other Windows and just sort of general laptops really is sort of, it's been that it doesn't really compare to Apple products. So as I said, I had reservations on the build quality of it. I mean, and just generally in the way that it all works. Obviously over the past 
couple of years I've been using the MacBook Pro with a solid state hard drive which has been super fast you know you sort of like click and um, and it comes alive and comes awake and obviously they're moving back to a laptop where it's not completely solid uh, solid state I mean this one has a, a hybrid apparently so it's got some parts of it that is solid state then other parts is just a, a normal type of, type of hard drive um, but apparently you're meant to get the best of both worlds in terms of capacity um, and speed and up until now it's been okay it's not it's not quite as quick um, as the Mac in terms of starting up and things like that but once you get going it's actually not too bad um, I haven't noticed anything um, particularly negative about it I've loaded up all of the charting software so I've got Ninja Trader on there I've got the various different brokers software on there and I've um, also got Camtasia for the screen recording and things like that for when I do webinars for you guys and I've tried running it all at the same time and so far there haven't been any issues obviously time will tell so in the next weeks and months when we really or when I really put it into uh, into battle so to speak when we're trading the markets and things like that obviously time will tell as to whether or not it is going to it is uh, well comparable to the Mac in its heyday hopefully it will be um, because what I've got here is I'm actually running it's got eight gig of RAM here and it's got a one terabyte hard, one terabyte hard drive. Now on the Mac over here, um, it actually had 16 gig of RAM, but having said that, there was only two or four allocated to the virtual machine. So in theory, this should have more processing power behind it. Obviously time will tell. Um, but as I said, on the whole, very, very happy with it so far. We haven't put it into the heat of battle yet, of course, so there may be things that, cre uh, that crop up or creep up, rather, um, as in when we start uh, trading with it. But right now, so far, so good. So I'll update you in the coming weeks and months if anything changes. But um, just to summarize everything, we've replaced the Mac. I've replaced it with a Toshiba Satellite Radius 15-inch. Um, which has got a solid state hybrid drive. It's got eight gig of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and a Core i5 processor. And so far it is all looking pretty good and all doing what it um, should do. So just a very quick show you there. So this is, this is the new PC, new laptop. Single monitors, I said to you in the um, in just a few moments ago in the previous video, so I'm not someone that has 40 million monitors. I have been through that, um, been through that phase there, but really and truly, once you once you know what you're doing and once you kind of you're set on a certain you know a certain way of trading and everything, if you don't need to look at 40 million different things, then don't do it because it just over complicates things but obviously i've still got the mac as well so if you take a look over there you can see that we have the mac that will be remaining um and obviously this will be where i'll be doing all of the trading and all of that kind of good stuff so thank you very much for watching um i hope that this is the start of something beautiful with windows based machines and um, i will catch you on the next video so take care now and have a good 2016